Alright guys, Trogdor here again, and welcome to another Redstone tutorial. Today I have for you another Nether Portal design. Nothing really too special about this one. Basically you just press this button, and it turns it on, and you press it, it turns it off. So let's look at the Redstone behind this. Okay, that is it two dispensers and a button that's how you build this now seriously though guys uh, this right here is a another portal with all the redstone underneath it I wasn't able to make it uh, fit directly underneath uh, the nether portal itself but it just spills out one block in three directions so it's not that bad and it actually is fairly compact too so let's go ahead and get on with the tutorial then okay guys the first thing you're going to do is build everything that is visible on this thing which is the actual nether portal I went with the simple 2 by 3 nether portal just to make it a little bit more challenging to make it fit directly underneath it uh, if I were to make this portal a little bit bigger, I could probably fit it all the way underneath it, but that's no fun. Anyways, you just build your typical portal. I like putting the edges on there. You don't have to, but I like to because when we uh, make it look like that, it actually looks pretty nice. I like the way normal nether portals look. Anyways, you're going to take your dispensers and you're going to place them here like they are over there you're going to take a button place it right there and we're going to go ahead and build up the back uh, this design actually requires this block right here to be here because underneath this block there will be a piece of redstone dust um, I could have made a version that wasn't like that so you could have this whole back off I might still do that in the future but I like the way it looks with the back on because the dispenser sticking out kind of kind of looks derpy and there's no point because you're not really going to enter it from the back anyways anyways let's get mm. on with this uh, from this corner right here you're going to dig down three. One, two, three. And then you're going to dig this way till you get to this edge. And then you're going to dig this way till you get to the edge. And you're going to dig this way. Then you're going to clear out all that dirt. So you're going to go three deep for all of this. So another two on each of these. And I will be back once I clear it all out. Pretty much you're clearing this stuff underneath the portal too. Wherever you see dirt, that's where you'll uh, clear. So I'll be right back. Okay, once you're done with that, you should have a four, or wait, a four wide by five long and by three deep hole right underneath your nether portal in the perfect position. So the first thing you're going to do is take, well actually the first thing was to build the portal. So the next thing we're going to do is take your blocks of choice. Doesn't matter what they are, this is just for the circuitry. Uh, it will all be covered up anyways. You're going to take your blocks of choice, put one under each of your dispensers there, and then Here's the front of the portal, so right underneath where the button is, you go place a temporary block, then you go place another block underneath that one and get rid of that temporary block. You go put a redstone dust right there. Uh, from the button, we're going to go into our T flip flop, and I found a design, probably one of my new favorite designs for a T flip flop. And we're going to be using that here. So we're going to have to 
take the signal from this redstone dust and bring it this way. So we'll do that with a repeater. And now we're going to go ahead and build our T flip flop. Uh, this T flip flop, you're going to use a dropper facing straight up. That wasn't straight up. It was not even close to being up. There we go. Facing straight up like that. Next, you're going to take a dispenser. And that's right, this is a dispenser. You don't normally see these in uh, circuits that move items between each other, but this one does. Now this one is a lot like the T flip flop that has the three droppers and then the, the hopper, except for it omits two of the droppers and replaces one of them with a dispenser. So now you're going to take a hopper Put it into that dropper right here as you can see it's facing that way and that's pretty much the T flip flop uh, you do have to place an item into the system so just put an item into the hopper it will go down into this now you can take your signal from this two ways you can take it from up here and directly put it right here but in this uh, system or this build we actually go take it from the bottom here and come out the side like that and you'll see why we're going to need that space here in a second anyways place your comparator there coming out of the dropper uh, place a block in front of the comparator place a redstone dust on top of the block a block right there off the side of that redstone dust and then a redstone torch right there. That will be how we're going to power this dropper or dispenser right here. And this one will hold our flint and steel. But we will put those in at the very end. Otherwise it could get messy. Um, next we're going to need to power the dispenser for the water. And to do that we're going to need a double pulse circuit. And since this is pocket edition, we need a a uh, monostable circuit into that. Otherwise, we'll have water uh, go everywhere when we load the world and stuff, which isn't fun. So what we're going to do is off the side of this block, we're going to place another torch. Below the block, we're going to place a redstone dust. And out of that redstone dust going this way, we're going to place a repeater on two ticks delay make sure this is on two ticks delay go place a block in front of the repeater and then we're going to place redstone dust on top of that block next we're going to take a redstone torch place it on the side of that block and that is our monostable circuit uh, next we're going to have to make the double pulse circuit and we're going to have to Let's see. Go ahead, have to hook it up to a block that will be right here with a redstone dust right here. So when this uh, block gets powered by a repeater, it will power this block right here, which is right underneath that dispenser. And that's the one that will hold our water. So we're going to need a repeater right here. And we're going to have to hook up our double pulse circuit to this repeater. And you might be thinking, well, since the item has to shoot out and get picked up by the hopper, won't this mess it up? Uh, no, as long as it's not like a full block or anything, it should just shoot it down in there. Uh, repeaters for sure will not mess it up. Um, so for our double pulse circuit, we're going to place a redstone du redstone dust off the side of this torch right there. It's kind of hard to see, but it's right there where the uh, cursor is right now, the circle cursor. And if you guys didn't notice that, I uh, use that circle cursor. So if I'm looking at something, I'm not pointing at it right at the middle of the screen. I'm actually pointing at it wherever the circle is. So place a dust right there. Then you're going to take two repeaters, 
One goes there, another goes there. One of them has to go on three ticks delay. It doesn't matter which one. So I'll put one right here on three ticks and this one just on default. Um, then you're going to hook up in front of those two repeaters redstone dust. Like that. You're going to take a block and place it right there with redstone dust on it. Another block right there with a repeater right there. And coming off the repeater, it goes into that block. So now this will power this repeater, which will power the block, which will power the repeater, which will power that dust, which will power our dispenser. So that should be the whole thing done. So let's just make a test. Let me turn this up so I can hear it. So if I click it, we should hear uh, two clicks. So that's the on. And then we should hear like three clicks. And there you go. That's the off. So the next thing you're going to do is, uh, we're going to turn down our volume a little bit. Next thing you're going to do is take your floor block and you're just going to fill in the floor like so. And just go around like that and everything's hidden except for the dispensers of course but that is fine. And the final thing we're going to do we're going to grab out a water bucket and a flint and steel. Flint and steel goes into the right dispenser and then the water bucket goes into the left one. So now if we press the button, it turns on. And if we press it again, it turns off. And voila, you have made a on and off nether portal that has no redstone showing above the uh, ground. Uh, these right here are considered components, not really redstone. I mean, they're redstone things, but they're not redstone circuitry. So, there you, go. there you go, guys. If you enjoyed the video and the build, please leave a like and subscribe. It helps out my channel. Um, and have a nice day, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.